welcome everybody to the channel how are you in this video i'm going to talk to you about the best grade of xanthan gum for cosmetic formulation okay if you have been making your beauty product with a Zan with this type of xanthan grade you are using the wrong grade okay the right grade of xanthan gum for cosmetic formulation is the usp version it's called clear okay clear xanthan gum usp this is the right grade of xanthan gum for cosmetic formulation this is the wrong grade so i know most of the suppliers are selling this to you right now because it's very cheap oh, oh yeah this you can get at a very cheap price and this is a bit more pricey this is the usp grade and this is the same grade that pharmaceutical company use and this is the grade you want to use for your beauty product if you have been using this grade um sorry you are missing out and you are using the wrong grade looking at both of them you can sense the difference this is just the xanthan gum the regular grade they use for perhaps food and the expiration date is usually 18 months and some suppliers will sell expired ones to you i'm sorry to say i'm telling you from experience that's why i will not mention name if I'm to mention the name of the supplier that sells this, everybody will not be happy. So I don't want to put anyone in trouble. So I'm just going to put this aside. So do not use this. Make sure you use this. This is called Clear Xanthan Gum USB. It's available right now at pureblendnaturals.com. I keep telling you, if you want to buy cosmetic grade ingredient, okay, certified by chemist, make sure you use pureblendnatural.com if you're in the uk you're in the us you're in canada you can order from pureblend natural so this i'm going the interesting thing about this which i'm going to show you is that it's so amazing that you will, you will know you are using the cosmetic grade the right grade to use for beauty products nobody can tell you that this is organic it's actually it's not organic and this is not organic of course because thickeners are rheology modifier and they are really organic no they're not and this is no organic there's no organic no natural xanthan gum so keep that in mind but the right grade to use to make your beauty product is this now i'm going to use this for you and i'm going to show you now i will use your store so you see the difference between the two in terms of now the the good thing about this one is that you can use it to make it has stronger viscosity and also it has clarity Cosmetic grade of Xanthan gum will help you make a clear, crystal clear gum gel. This will make a gel that's not, that's cloudy. So let's just, without, without wasting much time, let's get to work right away. So exactly you see what I'm talking about. So let's measure this Xanthan gum. Take little amount of this and also Take little amount of the right grade that's currently available at pureblendnatural.com. So, so this is the food grade and this is the cosmetic grade, the right grade for making beauty products. So we will I'll add our glycerin to both. The essence of adding glycerin to any gum is to uh, break down the particle to prevent clumping, right? So we're going to mix. So hard water to it, just as we, the same way we make our gums, right? I'll set it on uh, I'll set this on uh, on a magnetic stirrer to do a better job of uh, mixing for me okay now you're going to see, I want to show you the difference between the two okay I, I'm not just going I'm, as you all know me on this journey I'm a practical person 
it's not just about talking it's about putting what we see to work and that's what make us special as cosmetic chemists um, as all cosmetic chemists are inquisitive by nature they like to demonstrate to you exactly what they are doing so I'm going to give you RPM 1600 on my on my magnetic stirrer what I put inside is the stair bar which comes with most magnetic stirrer and if you want more you can uh, so we're going to give that two minutes to run. While that is running, let's blend the food grade one. Okay. So that's the that's the cosmetic grade, the right grade you should be using to make your gel, your lotion, your shampoo, your conditioner. It's a better rheology modifier, a better thickener with stronger viscosity and stability. This is food grade. It's just not supposed to be the grade to use for cosmetic formulation. It's the wrong grade to use in cosmetic formulation. So hard water to it. So after one minute, we're going to stop this one. Then you see the difference between the two. So after you have watched this video, I don't expect you to use a food grade xanthan gum to make cosmetic again. Okay, food grade is different from cosmetic grade. The best thing for your product is the best grade for your product is the cosmetic grade. So do not buy food grade anymore. The cosmetic grade is the only is the, the only supplier of the cosmetic grade um, of Xanthan gum USP that make clear solution is pure blend natural here in Canada. Now let's take this out. Okay, this is the clear grade, as you can see, so transparent and clear. We're going to take this out. Let's take out the stair bar. And clean it. And for you to hear directly from us, from me, making beauty product. And this, as you can see, is as crystal clear as possible and it's it's as strong a viscosity. This is the grade you want to use for making your gels, your shampoo, and all your beauty products. It provides better hold, it has stronger viscosity, is a better rheology modifier, a better viscosity builder, and a better thickener for your product, your shampoo, your gel. It's great at suspending, as you can see. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, it's, it's different when I tech tell you it, and it's different when you see me use it. Okay, so we don't want to uh, be unfair. So let the food grow on for the next, in the next 53 seconds, it's going to stop. We're going to take it out. We're going to put both of them side by side. And you're going to tell me exactly which one you love. I haven't used this for so long and I haven't used it for my client. I haven't introduced it for my students. They love every bit of clear Zantango USP. It's the best grade. Beautiful, it creates a, especially when you're making bath gel and you're making facial gel, when you're making ear gel. Oh my God, you are going to love it. Isn't this nice? Isn't this beautiful? You will love it. It creates crystal clear gel with stronger viscosity, more stable. And the good thing about this is this. It's more stable in both uh, alkaline and acidic solution. 
So if you want to make a product with low pH, you are good to go. If you want to make a product with a high pH, you are good to go. And here is the difference between the food grade and the cosmetic grade. In terms of beauty, which one do you prefer? Please, I want to hear from you in the comment box below. But I personally prefer this. This is the best grade for making beauty products. Okay, look at it. Just look at that beautiful gel. This is the best grade you want to use for your beauty product. If I make a gel with this now, okay, I'm going to, so to be fair to this one too, and I make a gel with this, sorry about that which one will you go for please let me hear from you drop your comment in the comment box below this is the food grade let's remove this is the food grade and here is the cosmetic grade so choose for yourself let me zoom uh, my camera closer which one will you want to choose to make your product the only supplier of this here in Canada, and I believe in the US, is Sapir Blend Natural. So if you are in the US, Canada, and the United, uh, UK, go ahead and order this, give it a try. It's a crystal clear, fine powder, USP version of Byzantine Gum, which is recommended for making beauty products. It's a better uh, thickener, radiology modifier, viscosity builder, and stabilizer. Please go for this. No, this is X and this is check mark for your beauty product. So go ahead and uh, look in the description box below for where to order this. Give it a try and let me have your comment. So choose between these two. I still want to have a comment before you go today. Which one will you choose? This one or this one? Let me hear from you. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you love this video, give it a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified of my next video. Also, if you want to improve your formulation skill, or you are a beginner, you want to learn about uh, cosmetic formulation, you want to learn how to make beauty product, this is a channel for you. So click the join now button to, to support me and also learn from me. I have a lot of courses that, I'm, uh, do, that we are doing right now. You will be excited to see what we have going on. So click that join button, don't forget. And also before you go, don't forget to smash that like button and the subscribe button, the notification icon to be notified of my next video. Happy formulating everyone.